They got both working. Fabulous. Awesome. Cool. So, I don't know whether to set my phone at the same pace as this or have this at a different angle, so I'm kind of like that. Yeah, we'll go with this. Right, I'm gonna do some washing up because I need bowls. So that'll be the first thing. Let's get that out of the way. If you wish to ask me any questions while I'm doing this, then feel free. Me okay, comment if you can hear me okay. There we go. <laughs> Wish I was more lively like this in stream than videos. Need to get a sponge. Sponge won't be helpful. Cool. Can we see who's viewing? No. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Cool. Hopefully, we won't need chargers for either of these. If we do, then I'll have to get a charger. <laughs> so, right, let's get these out of the way. And then I can show you my creations of the afternoon. Don't really want you guys to see me wash up some uh, pizza pans. Not very uh, interesting. Get that out of the way. God, that water's hot. Have cheese. Cool. There's that one. Eh. Nice. Thanks for tuning in, Mr. Stream Elements. I love you. Right. So we'll get cracking on with what I'm doing soon, guys. Don't worry. And then I can show you some actual cooking. It's just I went in the shower before I started this. So my oven making thing took a lot longer than what I thought. So originally I was going to be all planned and prepped for this, but you know, things don't ever go to plan. I love a little Disney whisk thing. person doesn't just mean me. If it does, I'm going to cry. You might not cry, but I won't be very happy. Anyone live on this? No? Okay. I end up talking to myself for like three hours then. Bowls. Where's my sponge? 
have no room on my uh, rack. Still at one, that's annoying. I can do a, a bit of editing on things. Right. No, continue. I invite loads of people. See what happens. Um, do you know whether I can resume? Oh, that's annoying. Right, try and do this. Discard, share, post. Let's put that on. Right. Go live. Right, we'll go from there for now. So that's that one. That's that one. We'll try again. Probably not going to work, but... Let's get this finished. Let's get the raw... Cookie mix out. That's that, that's that. All right. Right, cool. My beautiful mix. Oh, yeah. That's set up beautifully. And I've got oil on my clean hands. Love it. Right. And that's number two. Let's get that out. Check on the custard. How are we doing, Mr. Custard? Mm, still a bit warm. Get you, in there. Get you cooled down ASAP. Right, so we, well, I have made some giant bourbons. So, what well, a giant bourbon. So, let's see if I can turn this around. Ignore the mess. Yes. Hello. <laughs> so we're within a stream within a stream, which is cool. So yeah, these are my organs, which I'm gonna sort in a minute. Let's sort these out. Massive, massive in the corner. Get my 
aquí. Entonces. We actually get somebody come and join. That and the make right. If anybody's watching, nope. Um, says. Can I just invite all? That's annoying. Um, we should automatically have them, shouldn't it? I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't want Google this, go away. Um, nah. Hmm. See how we get on anyway. Hmm. I'll try and share the YouTube link. We'll go from that one. Share. Copy link. See if I can get that shared. Come on. God, that wind is awful. on there and I can share it. Come on. Share. Right post. Okay, that's all up, that's all up, that's all up. Cool, 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 cool. Right, we'll leave it as the iPad. So you're being held up currently by Spyro at the minute, which is awesome. Um, all right. So you're going to see some snapshots that other people aren't going to see until they obviously watch the video. So there will be snippets of me doing the video.
Come on. There we go. So we're going to need to draw the bourbon on. I haven't even got a picture of bourbon. That's annoying. Let's have a look. Uh, so it's five dots across the top five dots across the bottom so it's essentially and I find my little thingy So it's essentially like that. So obviously it's the wrong way around for you guys, but yeah, we're gonna have to do something like that. Um, they're quite close to the top, aren't they? I'm wondering whether that will be enough though. At least we can just trace it out anyway if needs be. Hey, you're in the background again. All right. So let's do this to them. Hey all. So these have been in the fridge for about three quarters of an hour to an hour. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the bourbon right on. So you'll need five dots across here, five dots across here, and then you'll need bourbon written in the middle. So I'm going to try and have a go with that now and see if I can make it somewhat decent. And then we will come back to it. Right, so that's that. I wish I could stick you guys like here as well. That would be ideal. I think I just messed that up to be fair. Yeah, it's gonna have to go. B. O. U. Uh, the, oh. Okay. I will try and show you guys. Can I flip the camera? No, I can't. That's annoying. All right, let's have a look. Well, I'll show you this way anyway, guys. So, yeah, I've wrote it on there, kind of. You'll have to see how that goes. Oh, it's standing up. Yeah. I think I put it slanted. Let's try that way. Yeah, that's better. It's going to take some patience to uh, do. And try a knife. Me. Oh, if I use the bottom. Oh. 
Oh, we got a bee. Bono. Definitely gonna have to do a different setup next time when I do this. Thing is, I'm gonna have to replicate it on the uh, other one. This is actually quite fun to do. I mean, if you're not a very patient person, then... Yeah, I get it. Let's show you guys so far what I've been doing. I know this isn't the uh, proper plan. But let's try and get it in. There we go. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. I might actually stream on my phone. And then whether it will let me, but I'll have a go. I might switch over to my phone in a minute and make it a lot easier. Cool. Hello. Thanks for tuning in. Can comment and say hello. I'm having a bit of a strop with doing the bulbing at the minute. Um, where's the skewer gone? Where's the skewer? So we're going to need five dots across the top. So if we go one, two, Three, four, five, two. I wish it was easier to create holes and biscuit batter than working with a skewer and getting uneven holes, which is really annoying. Oh, I have an idea. Have I got a handle with a... I do. Ha <laughs> ha. Use one of these. Oh yeah, that's so much better. I don't know why I just didn't think of that in the first place. Let me see if I can... Yeah. Yeah. Is that a 
I'm going to use you in my live stream. Um, <laughs> Do you like my uh, folder? That's huge. I've got another one there. How are you going to cut this out of it? What? Cut cording still. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Obviously, they can't see you. Yeah. They can see both. Me. <laughs> Me. All right. <laughs> Right, I take it you managed to find some in the end of Tesco. <laughs> That's one round Tesco in the end. So, oh, I'm going to put a powder on the start. Right, these were three for a counter shop, plain flowers. Oh, yeah. Right, I see. Right, yeah. It's only the tea bagged up that he thought he was going to make money from. <laughs> right, okay. Three, they're three for a quid. Okay. And the that was 180, so that's 280. Okay. Um, 280, 380, four pound nine, so I owe you a quid. Oh, screw the quid. Right. It said we fit now. Yeah. Why is there two? I don't know why there's two. Don't ask me. Right. Um, but this it goes up to ah, is the one for the board? Is the one for the board and one for the I don't know. Yeah. Right, well, anyway, the wee bits in there, the controllers, the yeah. other chucks. Yeah, have a go, bar. Okay. That's fair. Not too far, though. Um, that's your board. Okay, there you go. She said she can't even remember it being used. 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 But she said it's there anyway. Okay. What? Bloody hell. Yeah, that looks yeah. spanking new, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, hello, thanks for tuning in. Baby. So there's a couple of marks on the side. Yeah, I thought I was going to have it lying down. Um, I'm not bothered about that because all the time. Um, other than that, everything's there. It's a baby. It's a baby. Okay, baby. Thank you. There you go. How much do I owe you for it? You don't have to look for it. Oh. I'm just going to just plug it in and make sure it works for me tomorrow sometime, will you? Yeah, I'll plug it in after I've done that. Yeah. Yes. Me, jellies are in the fridge set. Are they? Yeah. They're not, oh, well. they're not quite done yet. No, you're all right, don't worry. Jelly. You'll have to have them tomorrow. Yeah. It'll work tomorrow. Uh, yeah. It'll we'll work till next Monday, not Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to sweep tomorrow. God, your hands are freezing. Go work through till Monday. What time have you got? Eight. What? You're on from 8 till 7? No, 11 to 7. I was only doing 8 till what's fit for overtime. Blair. Does he talk on Oh, mm -hmm. you want to take them up? Oh, sorry about that. Well, the clerk, 
next trousers I bought the other day, yeah. I thought it said 10 to 11 on. Yeah. I went to put them on and then I looked at the label and it said 11 years. Two and a half inches too long. Oh well, she's wearing it. So I just sped from the Tesco and just found uh, 10 to 11 years or something. So bloody hell. Hopefully we might not have to take them up. Yeah. I've got the shoes, we've got the other t shirts, yeah. but we don't know about the cardigans yet, so that's why I'm here. I'm back. Hello. Sorry. My mother has bought me a wee so I can use a wee fit. So I'm going to try and show you guys this. I don't know whether I can. I can hold it up. I'm probably going to get oil everywhere. But yes, my bourbon, my giant bourbon. So that's one is going in the fridge. I'm going to have to do the other one now. So I'm going to put you up there. This one's a bit more pliable to work with. What are you wanting? This one's probably going to be a lot neater than the first one. But hey ho, we learn. Come on. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so let's get this part of the video recorded. Inception in the background. So for this bit, we've done the five holes at the bottom and the five holes at the top. So we're just going to scribble out the bourbon part and then we can put them back in the fridge for half an hour before it goes in the oven. So that's that bit. Right. See so if I can make it a bit 
better this one. Oh, that lines me up equal. Right. And seven letters. One, two, three, four. <sighs> Do that a bit more. One, two, three, four. There we go. Right. Let's put some oil on the end. That stops it from sticking. Got that wind. Right, there's the bee. Hi, thanks for tuning in. I was just getting the rough outline on this one then. Come on. So that's the rough outline of the second one done. Let's get that on camera. Hopefully. Ugh. I have a hair on my face. So that's the rough outline of the bourbon on there. I know it's not very visible at the moment, but that's only because I've traced it out. And then I'll come back to you once the words have all been put in. But no. God, this looks so messy. I think because I've drew the lines out, it's just made it look 
really crap. So I'm just trying to smooth them out a little bit. I think it doesn't help the fact that the dough's getting quite warm as well. So I think that's like half the problem. Thanks for tuning in. Hello. I think next time I make these, I'm gonna like make myself a stencil for it and just stamp it. I thought I'd done then, but I've got the R to do. Right, let's put that in there. Cool, we'll do the last bit of my other video and then we'll get on to what we're gonna do. Hopefully if it works. So that's the lettering done on this one. So that'll just be going back in the fridge for half an hour until we get it to bake. Silly thing. Right. As open the custard would have been cool by now. Clearly not. Alright. So we're going to need some lovely chocolate. Hello, thanks for tuning in. Some puff pastry. The organizing half the fridge. Um, Okay, that's ish. That'll do. Right. Let's get rid of that because that's done. All right, we can put that one away for now. That's the empty coconut. Can this be recycled? Oh. that and that's that. Okay. Cool. Right. Let's try and do a shuffle of out of things and see what we can do. See where we can stick you so you can see me making this. Ah. 
Ideally, I need you there, but now you can't see me. That sucks. Oh, yeah, you can see me there. Let's put this away. Somewhere. Right. So, cocoa powder, that's for later. This is the empty one. I don't know what to do with it. So my mother's a good egg, she bought me some plain flour. Where the hell is that? Get off. Come on. Don't even know how much these are. Make sure they're uh, 500 grams. This is going to go well, isn't it? To be fair, I'm probably going to need some of this plain flour in a minute anyway for um, sorting our pastry out. To be fair, that, that was quite actually well done. I'm quite impressed with that. Right, let's put that on top of the fridge and get that out of the way. Put you back there, put you back there. Cool, you need to go in the sink. Got finished, yeah. Right, let's try and get this other bag of flour in. You're all having fun anyway, watching me kind of dismember things and casually do other things. This is the first time I've live streamed doing my cooking stuff, so it's definitely a different kind of thing for me. I just realised one side of my hair's gone a ginger colour and the other side's kind of still the pink. That's really annoying. You watch this isn't all going to go in there. These are more than 500 grams. It's a kilo bag. The more I tap it, the more it goes down. I like the quicksand effect. I don't think that's going to get the rest in, but hey ho. Oh, I'll shut my mouth. Okay. You are pissing me off. Right, there we go. Plain flour. Right then. God, that wind. That's nuts. Right. So, 
I'm going to roll this out and see what we get. Let's have a look. Because these are large packs. So I want to see how much we actually get in these. Depending on how much is in here, we might potentially do like a pizza kind of thing as well. So I'll show you my puff pastry pizza stars. They are literally the same. I feel ripped off. Tesco, oh, in terms of this company, hmm, we have issues. I'm not happy. How can you say you're a large puff pastry one? You're not. So I know for well you're not. Right. I'm very annoyed right now. So you have two blocks of white two blocks of milk and two blocks of dark chocolate. So what I wanted to do in this one was to kind of do some back to school kind of treats because where we are, the kids are back to school tomorrow. So it's easy enough just to make these and freeze them and then give them to them when they're going back to school. So, right. <laughs> I'm going to check this custard for the trifles. Still not cold enough. If I could do with a stir, do with a stir. I'm currently doing like five things at once. I thought, oh, I'll actually be able to do stuff. Yeah, no. <laughs> To be fair, I ought to have done this for the whisk. So where is my whisk? Is it still in the sink or is it? Good mixy. This will just get most of the lumps out, hopefully. If needs be, I think we're going to have to put some more milk in it to make it a bit. Uh, actually no, that looks all right, that's been mixed. That looks a little better. Try to not pour it on my uh, pastry. I mean, might need to make some more custard for the uh, trifles. I don't look like I have enough. I need to take you out a minute, Mr. Bourbon. Got the first one looks so good. There we go. Thanks for tuning in.
Right. Let's do the um, video for this bit. So now your custard has set, ladies and gentlemen, you want to pour this on top of your jelly. So I'll just get some of it poured on and then we can get it smoothed out with a spoon. So I'll just do that now. Just make sure no one's on the uh, live stream. Trying to make that as level as possible. There we go, that's a bit better. There we go, so that will be set in the fridge and then later on we can do the cream for that. That one's done. Still only myself. Get that smooth out a bit. Cool. So, just to show you guys, that's my liquid trifle. It's nearly done, to be fair, so just get some kiss and roll. Off from round sides because you know what I'm like. Cool. Let's get that one in the fridge. Somewhere. the top of these. Let that pastry kind of mingle a bit. It needs to be workable. Lovely jellies. Right, that's that in the fridge. See if the uh, custard will mix a bit better. Oh, there's less in there. Yeah, 
definitely think I'll have a lot to be fair. But hey ho. Oh, my phone just lost. Maybe not. Put a spoon of custard in. There's all four. I'm probably just going to I'm not putting any in that one. Naughty me. That's not going to be a lot of custard in these ones. Should have picked up another custard packet. There we go. Trying to spread crust custard brown when it doesn't want to move, it doesn't want to stick to anything, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Thinnest layer of custard you've ever seen. <laughs> if I think it's normally like this in supermarkets anyway when you buy it. That they normally give you like the biggest layer of jelly and then give you the thinnest bit of custard and it's a little better. Push you back. Push you back. Yeah, I'm probably just going to make some more, to be fair. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Go away. Oh, joys of living in uh, summer. So it's done. Are you flashing apart? Right. I'm 
look. Alright then, don't load my page, love ya. Cool. All right. I think we'll get the bourbons in and then we can start this. So I need to line a couple of trays anyway, so. Um, right. It's a good job I uh, washed this one earlier. one of our trays that we're going to put our croissants on, our chocolate filled croissants anyway. So let's move that out of the way. Preheat my oven for the bourbons. Come on. Eighty, one sixty. That's not four. Okay. So I'm just gonna get the stuff set up for the bourbons, and then we can carry on with that, as I said. Need my little book. And my pen wants to work. that one. Right. Thank you. 
So after your other half an hour in the fridge, you're going to want to bake your organs at 180 fan, uh, sorry, 180 normal, 160 fan or gas mark four. And it's going to be about 25 minutes. Just keep your eyes on them in the oven because if you need to swap them around, then you can do. And I'll show you once they're out. All right, let's get them in. Okay, Google, set the timer for 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes, and that's starting now. Lovely. Right, that's that one done. So you can get these in the fridge now where the gap was. So, let's move on to our little croissants with our mangled pastry. So, just trying to think how many we can get out of this. Let's have a look. There we go. Half. Half again. Half again. Thanks for tuning in. And if we go down the middle ish, and if we go Mess that one up. Oh wow, I'm gonna make one, two, three, four, five, six. Sixteen out of this one. I'm quite shocked. So let's get our chocolate. We're gonna need the three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Set five pieces for this. The snap down there. Oh, they're in fours. It's going to be easier just to snap the other bit then. Three, four, five. I'm feeling you didn't snap properly. No. Right. So yeah, I'll just show you guys. I don't know whether you can see it. Let me move you a minute. Ooh. So I've just kind of sliced them up a little bit into triangles. Then I'll show you once it comes back. The light in the kitchen isn't very good. So we'll just have to kind of go with it. You can sprinkle these in cinnamon sugar before they go in the oven as well, if you want that kind of added touch. Such a child when it comes to this. Suppose you kind of have to be. You have to kind of be level and nuts to have this kind of patience doing this kind of thing. So across. No, why are you the first one it's snagged on? Okay. Right. If we can 
Yes, I see you. Come on. I don't know whether it's worth me adding two pieces of chocolate in it. I don't feel too far the channel this time. Right. Put them in. I'm just trying to think how they're rolled again. To be fair, I think I've done these wrong, but let me have a go with one. Come on. I'm having a dilemma. Give me a minute. <laughs> Give me one second because I may just mess this up. <laughs> See how you triangle like this, guys? And then you're meant to literally go. No, that can't be right. Unless it's like. I had to figure it out. Moments with Becca. So you're going to have something kind of like that eventually. Once I've finished messing about. So we're going to get our chocolate pieces and cut them in half. Or as half as you can anyway. And shove them down the centre. Kind of like this. Then we're going to roll it. So you roll from the thick end to the thin end. And then you put it in the shape. So you kind of end up with something like that. So we're going to repeat this for every one of them. So please feel free to uh, type to me in the chat, by the way. I'm just talking to myself at this point. Oh, go away. God. Hmm, I'm going to put you there. You're, you seem stable enough, right? Right. So let's get these white chocolate ones out of the way first. I can't stand white chocolate, so these are going to be Jake's. I mean, if you guys want to get funky and make this pastry yourself, then so be it. I mean, I'm going to eventually have to make this pastry. Last time I made it, it failed, failed massively, so I'll have to see how that goes. Right. Fold you up. I don't know how many of these I'm going to end up doing. If I do the same on the other one, so I've got. 
So ten of each remainder of one's got less. So you just have to make the white chocolate one the less one. And if you guys like white chocolate then gladly do extra the white chocolate ones, but as I've just said, I can't stand white chocolate. Gonna check what that bang was in the oven then. Have a look. I think it's just a tray shaking itself. Right. That's one. Two, four, mold you round. Put you up there. So that's four. So I've got six more left of the white chocolate ones. I might end up showing you guys me making tea at this point. I'm flying through these quicker than what I thought I was going to. chocolate packet right. so I've got a few land near me I'm gonna cry all right push you in Roll, squish, squish. Try and keep the white chocolate in as much as you can. I mean, if it does come out in the tray, then it comes out in the tray, so. That's that one. Oh, we have a pretty much perfect triangle this time. And toaster. All right, that one's a chunky one. You didn't work quite well, did you? Now oh, you can go on that. There's six. you down a bit. Do the little wrap. That's seven. Right. And last one, I might be able to fit two more on this tray, but if they spread out quite a lot in the oven, then they spread out.
pinch them together. Come on. That's eight. So two more white chocolate ones and then that one's done. I'll have to open that window in a minute. It's getting too warm in here. End up with a right mind blank trying to make these because I've made them since school. So. Move you over a minute. And you. So there's our little tray. I know they're not exactly pretty, but they will look good. Hopefully. They taste good, hopefully, when they come out of the oven. Squishing the uh, white chocolate a bit. Kind of make them go around in a little C shape. Yeah, you've got room for the last one. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm just making sure that I've done it on the uh, waxed side. Otherwise, we've been in some trouble. Well, I've been not recording nearly an hour and a half. I might try and do an Instagram live as well, see what happens. God, my posture is so bad. Get out. Hey y'all, um, I'm currently streaming on YouTube, making my video for tonight. So I'm doing chocolate croissants. Um, so if you guys want to join, then happily come and join me. So I'm going crazy. <laughs> yeah. Trying to get these bags out of the way. I can sit you guys in the corner. There we go, yay! So we're finally getting somewhere. Ugh. Cool. Hopefully we uh, get some people joining in, fingers crossed. Hello to the uh, person that's still there. Come on. Let's check these uh, bourbons while we're here. Swap round. Oh, no, I just realised that they had the legs on. Let's put 
It will be fine. If we know if we smell burning, we know what it is. <laughs> right. I could do with another tray, ideally, but I haven't got any more. So I might as well make some of the others and kind of wait a little bit. Stretch that out. Close that door. Just open this window, guys, because it's like red hot in here. Ooh, nearly fell over. You might hear more of a whirring, but as I stand warm, so right, let's put this chocolate up somewhere. Put this pastry back in the uh, fridge for now. It's getting quite warm in here. Anyone watching? <laughs> Not yet. What percentage are we on? We're on 68 on the phone, 75 on the tablet. It's not too bad. way that I could like zoom out can I flip it around that way so yeah I'm just giving you guys a snapshot of what I'm doing so obviously you guys can see what I'm doing these guys can kind of see yeah I'm just making triple chocolate croissants they're ideal for your kids going back to school and for you if you're going back to work so Let's do that one, get them in the shape. Um, no, I don't want to count end the video. All right. That's this little person who's been following me on the or watching on my YouTube for this amount of time. No. Doesn't look like anyone's interested, which is a shame. Yeah, go check out my YouTube channel, Bizarre's Bazaar, and go check the full live stream there, guys. See you later.
All right, let's get out of the way. God, my feet are killing me. Thanks for tuning in. I wish I had like a stool or something to sit on. Thanks for tuning in. Outside is literally like autumn, winter time, and it's really weird. It's like the past kind of couple of weeks, we've had nothing but warm weather, so it's just strange to hear it all. Come on. Thanks for tuning in. Do comment what you would love to see me live stream next time. So obviously ideas from the community would be awesome. I can't imagine my uh, bourbon's got much, long, much longer left. Have a look. Two minutes. See, I wasn't that far off. Right. So that's a six. Just put that over there. So we can get this tray of croissants in as soon as the bourbons are done when they're done, that is. Oh, I wish I had a little seat to sit on. <laughs> oh. You can't ask me any questions, guys. I am open to questions. <clears throat> Thanks for tuning in. We've got one minute left. I might go and fetch my desk chair in a minute. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to go fetch my desk chair. Back in a minute, guys. <clears throat> I should have maybe moved the bin first.
something guys come on let's check these uh oh yeah i think they are done let's have a look oh yeah Up. Right, we can get the um, the croissants in there, well the first batch anyway, so there's the first batch of the white chocolate ones going in, so we'll get them in now. So we'll see how they get on, so let's set a timer for... 15 minutes and see how we get on with that. Let me get comfy in this. Ah, uh, that is as high as it goes. That's fine. Oh, yeah, don't mind me guys being in this chair. It's just my feet are absolutely killing me. I've been pretty much up cleaning the kitchen all day. I know it doesn't look clean, but it is a lot cleaner. Um, and yeah, I'm just tired. I'm recovering from being poorly. Last week I was very, very, very poorly. So it was kind of... I decided to... I was meant to originally live stream on Saturday, but I was just still quite sick, so there was no point me doing it while I'm poorly. So, right, I will get these ones in the fridge for now and then get the other pastry out. Hopefully, they'll stay up there. Let's get this pastry out. Eee. Got it. Right. Let's uh, pick this up. Pop them. Why is that cracked? Guys, these bourbon cookies look amazing. Let me show you. Eee. Look! They look so cool! I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Proud chef moment. I'd say proud mum moment, but I'm not the mum yet. Well, my mum took some fish. That's about it. <laughs> I want to try, but we're not going there yet. Because I'm not discussing that on this stream anyway. Or this channel. So. Come on. There we go. Let's uh, fold this cardboard down. Hopefully, this one's a little bit longer than last time. Otherwise, this supermarket brand that we shall not discuss will be getting a complaint from me. Now you might be thinking, oh, it's just pastry, it's just pastry. No, it's not just pastry. You pay extra for it being bigger. Not having it. My feet hurt a bit last time. It's <laughs> only got like another hour and nine minutes anyway, so.
up in the bloody bin. Right. Oh, it's looking promising. One, two, three. Oh. Could you like kind of go away, please? Thank you. Let's see how many people have there uh, seen it anyway. Oh, it's the same size. Yeah, they're getting a complaint from me. <laughs> I should have just bought like the pre-packed kind of like puff pastry packets. Just kind of work from there. Let's move that a bit closer. Fifteen people on that one. Uh, it doesn't tell me. That's annoying. Might just kind of like live stream this as well. See what happens if people can kind of join. Checking connection. Yay, we're now live. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're both live on Facebook and Instagram. So yeah, hey. <laughs> Oh no, we're telling more followers to join your video. Yay! Nobody's interested. <laughs> right. So we're gonna kind of slice this, get the other ones done. I've signed up to do this because I can't judge. That's funny because I had to cut it straight down the middle first time. So we did. Okay, here we go. One, two, right. That is literally all of them. Thank you for tuning in. Right, uh, sit down. Ooh. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> this literally looks like an office, but it's not. It's my kitchen, guys, on my Instagram. Woo. My nice kitchen that I've done up. So, yeah. This kitchen didn't look like this, by the way, guys, when I moved in. It literally was cream walls. Um, like a light brown cupboard and a manky kind of creamy with a brown side and I was like right when I get five minutes I will do this kitchen up like it's not ideal having my fridge where it is but I can't put it anywhere else so it's literally like sat there that's the only thing that I don't like and I'd love to redo the kitchen and change it about but I can't do much about it which is a shame <sighs> right let's uh slice some of these then
Yeah, so if you guys have any like suggestions as to what you want me to make, then please message on there. Message on there <laughs> or message there. Um, I'm always open to ideas as to what to make next. If you've got any special dishes like from abroad or overseas or you've got a family recipe that you guys want me to try and make, then cool, I'll try and make it. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna be like, no, I'm not gonna make it. I'm like, yeah, let's make it. So. Oh no. Squeeze. Right, that's all my things cut. How long got left on the timer? Five minutes. They do actually look really good. I'd probably put them on like 180 normal, 160 fan. Um, I guess not five, I think. I don't know. So we did ten of that one. So we done let me see how many we've got in a I'm confused. One Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, so done. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've done six already. Okay. Hello, thanks for cool. Oh, for joining, I should say. Give you a wave. <laughs> You're right. Thanks for tuning in, other person. Hi, Sarah. Thanks for tuning in. Yes, I am sitting down in my kitchen. I've got poorly feet. <laughs> my feet are killing me, so I'm sat down. I'm just making some uh, chocolate croissants at the minute and I made a giant bourbon. I'll show you guys. It's currently cooling down on the cooker. I'm excited to uh, gloom up. <laughs> it's nice to have uh, people watching me from different, well, say walks of life, but not technically. <laughs> no, no. Right, so I've already done six. So I'm literally going to need them, and I've got two, three, four, six, eight. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm having a blonde moment. <laughs> Try to work out how much chocolate I need to cook for the uh, for the remaining of the croissants. I'm having a bit of a blonde moment. All right then, see you later, chocolate. So we'll start at this end this time. Are you going to be putting this on your YouTube, the giant bourbon? I mean, yeah. So the giant bourbon will be up Sunday. Hi, Jenny. Yeah, bourbon will be up on Sunday, I think. Um, tomorrow will be trifle. Um, that was just a quick one that I got requested by my mum-in-law. Um, and then Sunday will be the bourbon. So let's wave. Weird streaming from like two platforms. <laughs> Aww, give a nice wave. <laughs> Check on these croissants. Oh my god, they're like monsters. They're so cool. <laughs> I should have put some like glaze or something on them, but I'll do them with this. 
really like that. Right. It's nice to see you too. Well, nice to chat to you, I should say. So. I'm finally feeling a little bit better to do this kind of thing, as I was saying earlier. Um, I was originally going to do this on Saturday, but I wasn't, I was literally really, really, really poorly. Like, it got to the point where Jake was considering, like, taking to the hospital kind of poorly. So, it's, it was postponed up until today, and it was my, it's my day off today. So, I was like, right, I might as well do something. Yeah, you got the lovely joys of uh, my face for a bit. What's your favourite top runner class, aren't they? Oh, um, probably like cinnamon sugar. I know that's like proper bad for saying I'm diabetic, so I shouldn't be having sugar stuff. But like probably cinnamon sugar, it's like rolled in that. Um, oh, thank you, Sarah. Yeah, definitely feel a lot better. Yeah, literally that day could not even formulate a sentence properly it couldn't even walk a straight line it was scary so I'm just glad I'm feeling back to normal-ish thank you Mr Tyler for telling me my croissants are done when they're not <laughs> yeah probably cinnamon sugar what about you what's, what's your kind of favourite topping on a croissant kind of piecing these uh, crustles together at the minute. I'm having a bit of a OCD moment. <laughs> Even though you don't see the it's OCD. Everything has a place. Anything gets moved, then they get shouted at. It's funny, I can hear Jake in the background. Always an apricot jam. Did I fall, but I do fancy some cinnamon sugar now. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really a fan. I've, I've not really tried apricot jam. Like, I, I tried apricots once in, like, a, a bar thing that we made at Ivano, and I didn't reckon much to it, and I was just like, mm, never really tried apricots again. But I definitely have to, like, try and make some apricot jam at some point. Thanks for tuning in, the rest of the people. By the way, I'm just rambling at the minute. I'll wait for these other croissants to cook. Yeah, you in terms of puff pastry, you can make um like cronuts. Um, I will end up doing these on like a live stream video once I've got enough oil to like do my fryer and things. But yeah, they're kind of like the most kind of um I'm trying to think of the word. They're like really kind of like fatty, but they're so good. Especially if like you want ones from like the seaside as well. They're amazing. Um, I'm gonna put you in half. There's quite a lot of chocolate in that one. Put you in half. Check on these croissants. Oh, yeah, they're not that far off being done actually, which is good. So, right, so some more chocolate. going to end up putting like three bits in rather than the four bits I've been doing because it's quite a lot of chocolate then I can save some for the uh, trifles how's everyone been keeping during like lockdown quarantine the world coming to kind of a mad point. Me and I kind of lost the plot a little bit. So I started this to try and keep myself sane and much 27 subs on YouTube and like 70 followers on Facebook. 
so it's kind of taken off a lot for me so I'm, I'm really happy about it how you guys been coping with it you found a new hobby or what you've been doing with yourself obviously Sarah I know you make your jewellery and stuff which is awesome I need to buy a piece of jewellery off you at some point so Why are you smelling like you're burning for? What are you burning? So glad that person's still on YouTube. <laughs> it must probably be so interesting. Loving your YouTube. You know what I do. That's really sweet and means the world. Oh, of course I know what you do. <laughs> I think I, fo I, I follow quite a lot of your uh, Instagram and on your Facebook and stuff like that. So yeah, I, I, it's quite nice. It's quite nice to see somebody that I know that's took something and made it into like a business. I mean, eventually I want this to be a business, but working full time and yeah, it's, it's kind of hard. But thank you, Sarah. That that means a lot. And yeah, I I I love your stuff. So, yeah, definitely. Once I've got some spare cash, I would definitely, um, I'll definitely buy a piece of jewelry off you. So, I keep seeing them, and I'm like, I need to save money for it, and then I end up having to find something on something else. I'm like, crap. <laughs> Yeah, I wish this was like a full time thing and this kind of like paid because I'd be in my element. Like, I want to do it again. I think even MK is with our commissions at the moment. I'm going to show you my second book right now. Awesome. Um, I hope you're successful in the bakery thing. You should definitely open a little cafe one day. Yeah, that's what I want to do eventually. Um, me and Jake popped out the weekend. Um, just to go out for some like fresh air and stuff and there's some like units in Loughborough that are not being used and they've not been used for like a year um the ones that are up near City World and I'm like oh wouldn't it be great to like have a little like bakery cafe thing um but like the rent for like units at the minute it's, it's like astronomically high and I, I just wouldn't know where to start obviously like working full-time and paying for like the flat and everything at the minute like yeah it's fantastic but you find I find it extremely hard to like save money because like something will always come up like oh yeah it'll be like something for the car or oh yeah something around the corner will come up like oh we need to go somewhere or oh we need to do this oh we need to do that but yeah and I'm so that's cool that you're illustrating your second book that's awesome I bet you're so proud So I was only going to do the three little bits while I'm going away. Let's have a look. That would be so cute in your shops are super expensive for sure, especially in times right now. It's a crazy time to start business. Maybe when the world settled down, you'll get there one day. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, once I can start putting a bit of money behind me or if we find out there's like some grants available, then yeah, definitely. I'd say probably another couple of minutes and then they'll be done. But they look gorgeous. Those bourbons are still really hot. 
Oh, they smell so good, those croissants. Right. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Right. Get away. Right. This near pal, we're going to have a problem. Go away. It's all right. We love a dream. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, definitely. But I'm loving the YouTube. Such a great creative thing to do too. Oh, thank you. I have a gaming one as well, but it's just like, as I said, it's just finding time. Like I'm making time for this because it's something that I need to do in order to de-stress from work. Because if I don't do it, I'm going to go crazy. But I know that sounds like an exaggeration, but there was a point, obviously, during lockdown, I work with, with the nature of the company that I work for. I worked all through lockdown, and most of the people that I worked with was um, furloughed. So there was a lot, of, a lot of stress, and I just, I just ended up snapping one day. I was like, I'm, I'm gonna leave. I was like, I'm, I'm too stressed. I can't keep doing it. So then I thought, oh, why don't I do this cooking channel thing? Like it's always been on the radar, and. It was always one of them things I wanted to do out of school anyway. And obviously me having my foundation degree in hospitality management, I originally wanted to go into that, but there's no work in the hospitality industry. Well, there is work, but it's not what I want. Like I want to be in a cake shop. I want to be behind that. And then suddenly so I can back that up and have the skills to do it. So this is why I wanted to do this so I can learn at home obviously things that I didn't learn from being a chef so I can get up to that speed and when I get a grant or when I get money I want to do it but yeah thank you for that my perfect way to wind down <laughs> like yeah I stress at some videos but I wouldn't have it any other way <laughs> thanks for tuning in on my youtube if you're the same person welcome back They're up to 62, and what percentage are we on on this? 61, okay, we're doing good. We've only got another hour anyway, so it's fine. I might go over depending on what I do, but I might make this like, and you get all the yummy treats too. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I try and uh, share them with friends and family, but it depends how far it gets, because if Jake likes it, then Jake will eat the lot. So, it's like chicken and broccoli I made um wasn't last week the week before I think um I didn't reckon much to it because I ended up adding coconut flour to it they can say you don't have coconut flour unless you can't coconut um but yeah I made that and then Jake ended up with four pots uh, depends if it's cinnamon sugar <laughs> yeah true true um yeah that's true so yeah i'll definitely end up doing like some cronuts or something on like live stream so you guys can kind of see that kind of thing so oh you wouldn't snap right would you to be fair i could do with my big boy knife but i'm gonna get my big boy knife out Whee! Which is pack it wouldn't be such a pain in the ass. In fact, it doesn't matter if it crumbles up anymore. I've kind of gone past that point. Let's check the uh, croissants. I need to move these bourbons off the cup because they're just like. I can put one up here. You're not too bad. I'll put you. Uh, hopefully you'll be okay. 
Um, try and do a bit of juggling in a minute. This is the first batch of the uh, chocolate croissants. Oh, they look quite nice. So some of the chocolate did spill out. That's why it's like a little bit burnt on the tray, but that's fine. We can pick that off. It's all flavour. Let's make the rest of these and then we can take them off. Oh. Why is the dark, I, I don't know why the dark chocolate is harder to cut than any of the others, because it's just, if anything, it should be kind of softer than the others, really. Yay. Like, try not to slice my fingers off my big boy knife. I don't really use it a lot anymore, but... Hey ho. Try and get them off the tray. Yeah, they look good. Woo! Back. All right, who's still on? Yay. Oh, proper warm in this kitchen. Oh, let's move my hair behind my head. So do you work? I'm going to head off. Lovely to see you sometime. Yeah. yeah, thank you. You take care. Right, we're just building the uh, rest of the masterpiece at the moment. To be fair, I wasn't expecting the um, the croissants to rise as much as what they did. Or expand as much as what they did, which don't get me wrong, it's quite nice that they have. I just wasn't expecting them to come out the oven like Marshmallow Man. You know who I'm on about, but I can't say the name. Hello! How you doing? You good? How are you doing over there, Mr. Viewer? You good? Right. I proper destroyed this like dark chocolate block. Look at it. 
I probably like demolished it. <laughs> oh, fun, fun times. At least you, from an angle, you can kind of see if I've like destroyed it. I should have used the um, the butt of the knife, really. I didn't get the uh, pop then. I'm enjoying this. It's quite relaxing. I just gotta remember when I put them in the oven, what's what. Oh, yeah. I just realised I did smaller croissants last time. think. No, but they're, they're still the same size. See what I mean guys? I'm not quite fully recovered. I'm just losing the plot. Right, let's get my whiteboard. Let's get these croissants put on. I'm still here, guys. Don't worry. I've just taken my uh, questions off the sheet. If they'll come off. There we go. All you lovely people. So they are them. Well, they're the white chocolate ones anyway. Let's put them over there to cool down. Let's get this crap off so I can just reuse the tray. is resprayed. Let's get back over. Boop. Boop. Ow. There's a door there. There's a door there, ladies and gentlemen. Right, so. Let's put these uh, chunky boys on. Two more to go. Two more. Let me get the uh, thumb bit of rolling them then. Right. 
so so Just use the uh, chunks now. It's a lot easier than cutting up bits. I'm going to have to cut up a bit anyway, so I might as well just use that anyway. I now have chocolate all over my side. Let's find it all clean. Hi, Molly! You're right. Hello. Welcome to me making silly croissants. <laughs> well, not silly, but. Right, what am I doing? That's longer than that bit, so that can go there. That can... I've still missed one of the croissants now. What an honor. Thank you for watching me make these. Yeah, um, not bad, thank you. Oh, bless her. How sweet of her. I'm going to roll these. So I've got some more spare chocolate. I've got like three spare chocolate bars now. <laughs> Love it. To be fair, I thought I was going to need more than what I actually did need. So I you know. Spare chocolate for me. Right. Roll these up and get these out of the way. No, you will not come undone. Hopefully, the um, tray's cooled down enough so I can have it on this side here. Because my sides, you can only have up to 75 degrees. Mm. It's warm, but it's not like... Meh. We'll do it anyway. Oh, that's right. Here going. I have greased the pan, by the way, so... Hopefully these won't stick. To be fair, I need to get the ones that are out of the fridge on this tray as well, so they can go in at the same time. So that's two. I'm going to get them out of the fridge now. Thanks for tuning in on my... Oh, hello, you are right? <laughs> no, don't lose it. Yeah, Molly said you was going to um, join. Yeah, I'm good. Just a bit warm. <laughs> Just melting a bit in the kitchen, that's all. Just 
want to reshape these. Which is fine when they're cold because like they mold a lot better. So try and beat them down a little bit. Yeah, it's a bit it's a tad warm. <laughs> like the cooker's like right behind me, so I'll show you in a second. Um but I've had like the bourbons in the oven, so a lot of the heat is from that. Throw this paper away. Yeah, my um, it's where I'm sat. The oven's like right there. It's obviously because our kitchen's not very big, so I make mean, sure sat right in front of the like bloody cooker, so I get all the direct heat really. So there we go. We're back. Ow! There's a cupboard there. There's a cupboard there. <laughs> Right, so I can get two more of them on. I might try and get the rest of the chocolate one. That's why you're cooking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, it doesn't help that, like, I can still feel that like, the heat from the bourbons that I took out, like, 45 minutes ago. So, obviously, because it's massive trays of the, um, of the mix, then it's, it's just baking me, essentially. So, it's a good thing I'm not, um... oh, the bourbon, yes, I'll show you. I'll show on Instagram first, because it's easier for me to move. Um, they have a little bourbon cookie, well, say little, they're quite big bourbon cookies there. And then, on this one, and I grab it, these are my bourbon cookies. So like massive trays worth. So they're going to be a uh, fun to get out the uh, foil in a bit once they've cooled down. So they need to cool down completely before I even try and take them out. So there we go. I know. <laughs> Literally like. I have the big mixing bowls, are like four litre mixing bowls, and it filled like the mixing bowl. I had to like pour it out on the side to like mix it all together. So they're like the big bowls that I've got, and it literally filled that. So I wasn't very happy about it. <laughs> I literally got covered in like dough, so. Alright, push them down a bit. So we'll put one more on the tray that we've got. So we're doing 10 at a time. Um, I didn't really need to um, glaze the other ones because they turned out quite golden. So I'm quite happy with that. So we'll put you there and you there. Just trying to join together where I can see the chocolate so it doesn't like pull out. Right. Um, I'm making like three um, triple chocolate croissants at the minute so because I've not been very well the past few days obviously I thought I might as well make something quite easy. I was going to do cronuts but I um, scrapped that idea <laughs> so I'm going to do cronuts at one point so I thought I might as well do something. I can whack them in the freezer once they're done and that will be the end of that then essentially so that'll be my breakfast. Thanks for tuning in other person by the way. So these are the milk chocolate ones. They're going to go in the oven in like 30 seconds. I've still got three left, but I can roll the others and then I can put them in the fridge and cook them. Okay, Google, when it wants to work. Uh, let's just do it myself, 20 minutes. Start. 
There we go. Oh, and well, no, they smell fantastic when they're cooking. So, when you go away. So we've got 23 minutes left or however long I want to go. Um, well, 23 minutes till I officially started on Facebook and then this one messed, well, this one wouldn't do anything. So let's uh, pinch that and roll that. It's a bit like coffee when it's fresh, smells amazing. Yeah, exactly. Um, I can imagine these are quite nice dumped in coffee because obviously you'll get the mockery kind of effect. I haven't had coffee in ages. Like It's been like a week and a half since my coffee. So try not to drink a lot of coffee anymore. Come on. Doesn't take you that long to uh, peel up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I haven't been I haven't been to Costa since I think before lockdown. Um yeah, that was a while ago. So I definitely need to go and have one when I eventually have another day off at some point. Again, all sticky now because so it's getting quite warm now, but it's fine. It's fine. So they're the milk. So I'm now starting on the dark chocolate ones. Let's get them rolled up. Get them squished in so the chocolate doesn't come out. Go away. Put you there so I know what you are. No one else on the Instagram as of yet. Yeah. Get that rolled. Not even decided what I'm making for dinner yet, which is annoying because I need to have dinner soon. I've got work tomorrow, so I need to like have something. Put the dark chocolate ones down there so I know what I've done. to like get my big boy knife under and peel it off now. There we go. Cool. Cool, cool. Swimmy that over. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Rolly, rolly. I wouldn't say roly poly then, but it's not a roly poly. Come on, like, join the gap, please. This one's definitely going to leak chocolate out, but I can't do no about that one. I have to stick these in the fridge for five minutes because they're getting really warm. Oh yeah, you wouldn't roll symmetrical here, would you? There we go. 
or not. Um, I'm just using literally cheap chocolate. I mean, you can use anything. I'm just using this one from a certain supermarket that I'm not allowed to name because we're not allowed to name brands. Um, yeah, I'm just using cheap chocolate because it was what I could pick up, but I'm using white milk and dark. Um, not together, but separate ones because I can't stand white chocolate. So is there a point me making all three if I can't eat them, if that makes sense? This one's not even cut properly. Yeah, I think that chocolate was literally like 30p a bar, I think. It was like 30, it was either 30p or 30 something p. Can't quite remember, but wasn't that expensive, but okay. Still works. Um, I'll roll the rest out. Might as well. No point me sticking them in the fridge now. Well, I'll do them after I've done the roll them out. You there. So we're up to three, two, four, six, eight. So we're nearly done to be fair. We nearly got the 12 for the third tray, which is good. So press that down. Uh, like people are randomly like picking their horns love it it actually looks like a nice chunky chocolate yeah um fairly decent to be fair i've not like tried any yet but i'll probably like sneak some soon <laughs> thank you for falling off piece of chocolate stick. Don't you do what I tell you to do. There we go. Right, we're nearly there. We're nearly there, ladies and gents. Let's move that over. Two more. Two more. Thank you. <laughs> As I said earlier, it keeps me busy. So oh, I've just noticed how long my hair is. I need it cut in again. I need a haircut. Oh, 
for more. Run more. Come here. I think I've done a bit too much chocolate in this one, but hey, hey, good for me anyway. That's them all done, which is great. Let's check the uh, other ones. They're looking quite nice. The bourbons are about cold. Hey, Robin, you're right. Oh, I'm having two minutes now. Then I'm waiting for them to finish. Oh, look at the state of my hands. I'm filthy. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm not bad. Same old, same old. Period cramps and all that. I could cry, but try not to. <laughs> to be fair, the heat and like the cookers are helping me a little bit, so I'm cool. Right, so we're literally just waiting for the other croissants. I'm just gonna check the bourbons and see how they're the dry bourbons and see how they're cooling off. They're not that far away actually which is good, so it means I can take them out and peel the foil off. So let's just chill for a bit in my office chair that I don't use anymore. <laughs> oh. Yeah, exactly. I feel like I'm just sweating buckets at the minute. It's, it's nasty. So... Wish this uh, weather had piped down a little bit. Done nothing but whistling all bloody day. Is there no more chocolate there, dark chocolate? I need to remember. It generally sounds like there's an engine outside. Mate, but honestly, they're not little ones. They're like huge. Let me show you. Ugh. Mate. <laughs> Do you want this? <laughs> oh. Literally, it weighs... This this whole slab is two two point two point two five kilos, and the other one's two point two five kilos, and then I've got buttercream and everything to go in the middle. Thanks for tuning in. I will eventually make some little bourbons. Like I want to make um, like molds and stuff. So it's just that I've done it like freehand. So I'm just trying to like, would be heaven while I'll have that in a day. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, definitely. Honestly, mate, it was such a pain in the butt to make literally. But I'm trying not to swear as well because I'm doing this on YouTube at the same time. But um. Yeah, such a pain. Literally, I had to like tip it out in the sun and like mould it with my hands and everything. But I've only just managed to put the wedding ring back on because my hands were like stuck up. It was kind of like nasty but kind of cool at the same time. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I've done a lot today. So I've done, obviously, I did the jellies last night for the trifles. I've done the custard today. I've tidied the kitchen all up. Obviously, it doesn't look that clean for me it doesn't look like clean but it, to me it's like tidy and um 
obviously made the bourbons and stuff. Yeah, I've got two biscuits. So, obviously, I'll sum them together. So, I'll show you the other one. The other one's kind of prettier, I think. Actually, one. Yeah, show him YouTube. I've actually just tried a bit of the frost. It actually tastes like a bourbon. I'm so impressed. They're just so warm at the minute. Oh, I can't risk taking them out. Otherwise, they'll just snap. I can't be dealing with that. I will cry. <laughs> Thank you. Let's have a look. I'll have to bring you some, mate, at some point when I get time. Because there's going to be too much for me and Jake to eat there. But I've got to take mum some because mum's bought me, like, a wee. So, this is my timer that's got time. No, apparently I only have, like, 18 seconds left. What? I have to, like, restart if it does cut off. So... Why is it timed? Right, we'll restart that again. Right, we're back on this one. Oh, God. Oh. So warm in this kitchen. They'll have like a hair wobble in here or something. Have some sellotape. I have some sanding paper. I have some plastic. Oh, I'll have to tie it up like. No, no, I'll. It'll have to do for now. So the milk chocolate ones, the first batch are nearly done, which is cool. Uh, the white chocolate ones are nearly cold, which is great. So it'll just be a case of just waiting for them to um, cook. I know what I meant. It just came out wrong. I need to make something for tea, but I don't know what to make. So when the other ones come out, I'll whack them other ones in the oven. So we'll finish when it when they're all done. Then I can show you like the insides of all three and show you how they look. So yeah, these are just cheap ones anyway. So as I said previous, there's no point. Well, there is a point, but if like you're in a rush, like take your kids and stuff at school, if you're going back to work, then these are easy enough just to make. You, go, you just go to a shop, just buy some puff grapes, just some chocolate, do it like this, and then it'll just be a case of just put them in the freezer and then just take them out the night before you want them. So, you know, solving people's, issue, solving people's issues one at a time. That looks so cool. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, how long have we got left on this timer then? Um, I didn't mean to stop the timer. Go away. Right, I'm going to check because they should be about done. They are. 
They look, these look actually a lot better than the white chocolate ones. There we go. So these are the second lot. They're definitely, oh, no! We lost one! Quick! Uh, ouch, 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 ouch. Hot, 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 hot. No! That's my own fault. I should have seen that coming. Leave them to cool down a minute. Ugh. And then we can get them in. We'll get the other ones in, I should say. And then I can make something for dinner. Because I'm hungry and it's like nearly nine o'clock. I don't even know what to make. Hmm. I'll just have a look in the fridge and see what we've got. Whee. Don't really want pasta. Pasta's quick though. I don't know. I don't know what to have. I'm stuck Fridays. I'm stuck. But yeah. I'll just wait for them to uh, cool down a bit now. Right. Might be worth me pouring it on the pizza pan because they cool down quicker on there. Well, they will cool down quicker. Let's put them on the uh, pizza pan. Delicate things. Right. Oh, hot, hot, ow. And the broken ones. Right. So put them over there. Wait for this tray to cool down a bit. Spray the tray with some spray oil. How do you? I'm wondering whether there's a way that you can take this lid off and refill it or whether they like cap it on and don't let you um, refill it, which would be a shame. So how hot are you try? Do with um, putting them in really. Uh, let's put 20 minutes on. Cool the tray down by moving it in the air because metal will cool quicker doing this. Just be careful because I'm using my fingers. Right. So if we put the 
and as close as we can really. might be able to get all of them on the train, which would be ideal. There we go. So that is the last tray done. in the um, oven. Put that on for 20 minutes. There we go. We're back. So, I will stop when they come out. Just trying to serve what I have for my dinner. I don't know what to make. I need something that's going to be fairly quick. Um. Hmm. I don't even know at this point. <laughs> um. I just want something like fairly quick so I'm probably just going to like boil some pasta and just put that on because I was going to have steak but I forgot to take the steak out my canana love it oh I can't believe I'm going to work for the next five days and the next day off is Monday Oh, fun. Fun. My uh, parting's not even in the middle. Love it. Try to like, put my parting in the middle with my uh, grey hair. Feel free to ask me any questions though, people. I don't mind like answering them as long as they're appropriate. As long as they're okay. Like I'm using my uh, Instagram live chat to like view my part in. Love it. Hmm. Let's see what I've got in the freezer. Okay, I've got chicken and stuff up mine. Um. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna like make it pass for at some point. Probably in a minute, to be fair. And get it like cooking while I'm waiting for this. Oh, I may just make some fish fingers, chips, and beans because that's easy. And some bread and butter. Because you know. Pop my goggles up. Whew. Yeah, today's been a really busy day. Can't believe how much I've actually got done. I'm saying I didn't start doing things till like two o'clock. I'm surprised I managed to like do it all. So I'm dead impressed how much I've actually done. My glasses keep sliding down my bloody face. I like how the lighting keeps going like quite dark and then quite light in here. That's definitely a uh, different, even though like the lights kind of stayed.
awesome. Right, we're going to end you. I if it was only five minutes ago, I'll put that blooming thingy in. So we've still got two people watching, that's cool. Awesome. Right. I'm going to turn you off until the timer comes on and I'm going to start putting my dinner on, I think. I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good call. You have to bear in mind, this is a very childish dinner, but I don't care. Oh, bless you. <laughs> I thought you were busy sorting something out with Ellie, so it's okay. No need to, no rush. I'm here for like another 25 minutes anyway, so you're fine. Good thing I've got some more and I'm making some uh, bread with it. I'll set another tray to put my uh, fish fingers in that on. Money, guys, I'm just making dinner. It's like nine o'clock at night. And I have work tomorrow, so I need to eat like now. Very, very, very frozen.
seven. That's dinner in, and now both of the croissants are in still. So we've got 10 minutes left, so that's fine. There we go. Just gonna wait now. It's a nice waiting game. Yeah, I'm gonna check the other croissants in a minute and just see how they're getting on, as in temperature wise, once I've uh, plaited my hair. Because my hair is dead, my head in. What you just crack for, hmm? So you got nothing to crack about? You know, the thing is, I've not even had a drink like this amount of time that I've been doing it. I think it might be an idea for me to get a drink in a second. That's on top behind. Nearly there. That's that one and that's that one. Cool. Six minutes. Warm. 
That's one, like 11 more to go, or a lot more to go, I should say. Just gonna stick it to like, Covered and just like I think I'm not going out of cutting it now, so it's cool. wrapped up now they're nice and cold. Ideally I need to write which ones are which. stickers oh, I hate the fact that there's like these little tiny like flies in the kitchen but like, little freak flies and they're doing my head in 
well, like flypaper and that, oh, but just, they just don't want, they're not interested. This is kind of my little mini kind of thin film cutter. They don't have the um, box anymore. God's truth, go away. Let's check these ones. Done, that's that done, that's that done. Right. Okay. I don't want to write that one on the back. I nearly actually wrote one in the actual cross on them. That would have been a disaster. Nearly drop one then. That one would have been a disaster and all. Right. Four more left to go. Three 
меня. Is one of the marking up? Nearly there. One more of the white ones, and then I've got the rest of the other ones to wrap then. Okay, that's all the white ones done. Just make sure they're marked so I don't touch them. That one's got a little pointy bit on. Right, so that's them all done. Let's look at the other one. We'll cut this one up because that was the broken one. You would do that, wouldn't you?
get these lovely little dainty malt chocolate ones wrapped up. Hopefully we don't run out of them well. Two. Oh, you would do that, wouldn't you? Hello. Make sure you still on the land of the living. Yeah. I haven't heard anything from you for the last two hours. Well, I'm so. Thought, thought someone come steal you, steal you off me. No. How's it going? Uh, the last batter in the other. Uh, Do you want a white chocolate one? I don't know. Have we taste test? Have you decided what you want for dinner? I've put it in the oven. Where is it? I've done good fingers chips. I'm going to do some beans with that and some Ooh, lovely. Wow, lush. Yeah. Yeah, I've known it Yeah, I've been on it. I've been on Instagram live and everything. What? These are nice. Are they good? Mm. These are really nice. Well, good because you've got like nine 12. more white ones. You've got 12 more to come. you got nine. Yeah. And then obviously you've got milk and dark ones. Well, then. Yeah, I'm just warm and I'm in pain. Can you do me a favour? Yes. Can you set the wheel up for me and just make sure it works? Yes. Why? Is mum the No, she said, can you test it for me? Otherwise, I'm going to go and knock the reds in. So we have an approval. <laughs> Jake thinks they taste amazing. So we're on to a winner. So he gets all the white chocolate ones. I genuinely thought he was coming back in then, but it's not, it's just the wind that's blowing the door. <laughs> no, it's just the way that the door opened. I literally thought it was you coming back in. But no, unfortunately not. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Is it? Oh dear. You never had a wee? No, I had a That's good. Yeah. 
Can I check the other croissants for me? wrap done ladies and gents to wrap out of this bunch and then that'll be it then because the other ones have just come out and they're cooling down so they won't take too long and obviously you guys have been here for quite a while so I will then let you guys go all right then clean film bye bye show you guys this one and then I'll let you go because it has been a while yeah you get the little core running through there with the chocolate so I'm going to let you guys go so if you enjoyed this go like comment subscribe and I'll see all you lovely people next time see you later